Hey guys, it's Bumaya. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Either way, you are welcome. So a lot of you are enjoying the friendship video that I posted a while back, and so I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a friendship mini-series because it's so important. And it's one thing to talk about dating and that kind of relationship, and that is valuable, but friendships will constitute the majority of relationships that you will find yourself in, so it's important to be a good friend. And I noticed that a bunch of you had mentioned that you had been or currently are not the best friends to the people in your life. One, I want to say kudos for even being able to identify that. That's huge. And I could kind of relate because I feel like I've been there in some ways. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Okay? I feel like that's just a great launch pad for just figuring out how to treat people in general. Start there and it's really helpful. And then there are always situations where you want something different than your friend wants. But then this way at least you're coming from a good place. And if they say, hey, not really feeling the way that you are handling this situation, recalibrate and just let them know, sorry, was just trying to do for you what I would have wanted someone to do for me. All my intentions were good, but now that you've let me know that you would prefer to be supported in another way, I will just recalibrate. Get to the bottom of the issue. If you find yourself habitually doing the red flags that I mentioned in that video, or just otherwise not being a good friend to someone, you want to do a heart check and see, okay, what is it in my life that's making me unhappy? Because in my experience, when I have found myself not being a great friend to the people around me, it's because there's been some discontent or some lack of satisfaction in my own life about what I'm doing or going through. So do that heart check and see, you know, what is it in my life that's making me petty or, you know, unkind to people who I care about actually and want in my life, but for whatever reason, I'm just not able to be the friend that they deserve. So soul searching is definitely the first place you want to start and then pray about it. Okay. Open your Bible and allow God to change you. <laughs> Don't be that friend that's always venting about your own life or yeah, your own dates, your own assignments, your own walk distance. Every time you, 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 that just leaves the other person feeling drained and exhausted. And then they just don't want to be around you. It's happened to me so many times where I've had a friend where it's like, every time we get together, you're just like talking about yourself nonstop and like venting your own drama and stuff. And it's just like, Okay, like I, this is just exhausting for me. I can't just pour into you, pour into you, pour into you, pour into you and not get that back. Relationships of every kind should be reciprocal. So if they're going through a hard time, check in on them, send them Bible verses, pray for them, pray for your friends. This is all really important. When you guys are spending time together, put that your rubbish, foolish phone down, please. This is probably like one of my biggest pet peeves is if we're spending time together, like you should not be on your phone. I think that's disrespectful because it's like, I could be anywhere in the world right now and I've made time to be with you. Respect my time. It's one thing to be like, oh, sorry, I have to respond to this really quick. But I've had friends literally come to my apartment and like be scrolling Instagram and I'm, I'm like, want to, want to, want to pack your nonsense and leave this my house now. You came to my apartment and you're scrolling Instagram. You're scrolling my Facebook. You're scrolling Twitter. <laughs> Are you okay? Like, that is so rude. Don't be that friend. It's sh it just doesn't make any sense. If they tell you something, close that to your mouth. Don't go and be talking cho 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 telling everybody what they told you. This is huge. Now, there are obviously exceptions. I don't, I can't think of them all off the top of my head. I'm talking about the people who are disrespectful and can't keep a secret and think that their friend's personal life is like tea. It's not tea. Don't use your friend's life to and drink wine. Be smart about it and do for her what you would have her do for you in that situation. 
show appreciation. If your friend has gone out of the way for you, say, hey, I really appreciate it. Try to do something thoughtful for them in return. You don't want your friend to feel like you're taking them for granted. Show them that you appreciate them, even if it's your best friend, show them that you appreciate the things they do for you. I'm big on this, I'm huge on it. Even like in my family, when I go home to visit, my parents say, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming to visit. And it's like, it's something really small, but I do believe that showing gratitude and appreciation goes a long way for people. I don't think it takes anything away from you to just say thank you. Know when to just listen. If your friend is really upset and it's a sensitive topic, Sometimes what they need is not for you to sort of offer your two cents or your advice or tell her what she should have done or tell her what she needs to do next time, what she shouldn't do. Like that's just not always constructive. I think there are times where all a person needs is to just sit in silence and feel like they're not alone, especially if it's something that you can't really relate to. Sometimes a very understanding and loving silence goes a super long way. So. Try to be perceptive to what your friend needs and also pay attention to how they sort of show you that they care and show you support because chances are that is how they are going to best receive it. And then it goes without saying, my, my sisters, <laughs> do not do the things on my bad friend list, please. Like if you are doing these things habitually, again, like I said, do a heart check, see, okay, what's going on with me that makes me feel discontent or unsatisfied and sort of attack that. The happier you are, the better you'll be to people. If you have grievances towards your friend, don't be passive aggressive. Go to God and say, Lord, you created, ha. help me understand her. Help me empathize with her. Help me be patient with her. And God will help you. I've never been in a situation where I've prayed that kind of prayer to God and he didn't come through. He's faithful always. So pray that prayer and I trust that God will help you develop a bigger heart for people. So that's it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves watching this video. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, definitely like and subscribe. If you don't follow me on Instagram, girl, what are you doing? You need to do that now. I'm on Instagram pretty much every day. So the days that I'm not on YouTube, you can catch me there. If you have a request, go ahead, drop it. I can't get to everybody, so please don't get upset, okay? I'm a full-time law student. So that's just to say, I don't need the email like, eh, so you do not respond. Me, I'm on following. Please don't send me that. Like, keep that to yourself. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.